I still have an intro, but new one. Cutie, this is Alpsy Sprocket here, and we are back in Coromon. Remember last time, we met with a couple of new NPCs, joined the Titan Task Force, uh, and gained our Stink module. Uh, we also grew the team quite a bit. We, of course, had Vlambus and the Patterbit that uh, the main guy gave to us, but we haven't named him yet, um, so that's something we need to fix at some point. But we also caught Twiggles, Glunk, and right before the end of last time, Doc Bugsley. Uh, and we were just about to head up to Hayville, which I think is going to be like 30 feet in that direction. So let's find out, shall we? Another NPC here. The world map says that I can find a tattle here, but no success so far. Do you have one? Uh, no, I don't. Too bad. I really wanted to see one in action. Okay, so if we catch a tattle, we can uh, come back to him. See what we got. It's another swarmy. To be fair, Doc Bugsley does need some uh, training, so let's uh, let's get him some. Nice crit, and then one more should do it. There we go. Twiggles earn some XP. Doc does. Perfect. Keep heading up this way. Another combi cake. I'll take it. Ooh, we got hay here. Or some sort of stuff. Oh, it does have Coromon in it. What have we got? Whoa, Mino. Level 5. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Uh, it's very clearly on fire, so I think Vlambus needs to deal with this. Cute pose. Guessing low is attack. Defense. Ooh. Careful. Bubble burst him. Uh oh, he's faster. That's a multi attack move. Luckily, it only hit once. And a bubble takes him right down. Ooh, and we get a milestone. Lambus with a whole lot of experience, and Doc earns a bunch too. Um, let's see, so everything goes up a little bit for Doc. And he gets Rage, which makes him a little bit uh, more damage. And he awakens some potential as well. Um, don't really know what his thing is yet. So I'm just going to go for a general upgrade to... Let's postpone the remaining, actually. Uh, HP goes up a little more, speed and defense up a little more. Alright. Now, can I get to this box? Not yet, at least. But there's something down there. I'll get it to it. I'll get to it at some point. Uh oh. Another swarmy. No, let's see if I'm right in my assumption. Yeah. So I think actually that this patch of grass just has higher level stuff. But let's let's see if the doc can take this. Uh oh. Careful, doc. Doc. Doc, finish this faster. Uh, you can take one more. Nice. Good job, Doc. Can you level up? Very nice. And another milestone. Let's see what we got. Whoops. That's not the right one. There we go. Every 10 battles won, another 20 XP, and 15 damage. And I can claim two more uh, SP kicks. Nice. There are a lot of promotions to be gained. Um, so it's going to be a little bit for some of those, but very nice. All right. And Doc is fine there. 
What have you got to say? I just started out as Battle Retracer. Could you help me complete some milestones? Sure. Let's see. Mira versus Sprocket. Silquill. I've got Doc. Doc, go for a slam. It's faster. Ooh. Doc, you can take one more. Doc is still holding, but let's throw Glonk in there. Woohoo. That's barely anything. Go for a scratch. Oh. It's okay. One more of those will finish it. There we go. Glon gets a little more experience, so does the dock. And Taruga. Ooh. You have a Taruga. Okay. Uh, Glonk, see if you can stay in there. Your defense is down again. Careful, Glonk. I think he can still survive a hit. Ooh. He can't take another one like that, though. Alright. Glonk, get out. And Vlambus. You should be able to finish this easily. This is your perfect matchup. A slam. Would have been enough to finish uh, Glonk, but... We did that swap out. Taruga is down. There we go. Glonk earned some more XP and levels. Nice. His defense is up even higher. He is a super tank. Sparka defeats Mira. Just one victory away from completing Duelist. Big rip. Maybe next time. Don't feel bad, I have plenty of other milestones left to complete. Good. Because I didn't feel all that bad. Uh, who's out front? Doc. Let's switch Doc out for somebody who can actually fight still. Okay, this way, and hopefully this should be Hayville. Yeah. We might have a fight right here, though. Hello there, I'm looking for Amino. If you can find one for me, I'm willing to trade my Buzzy for it. It's not potent, but my Buzzy has great potential. Interesting. More people asking us to find Amino. This guy should get an award. He's outstanding in his field. I get it. Let's see. Yep. I need to heal up. My guys are looking pretty weak. Welcome to the local trainer hub. Please take care of my Coromon. They had a great time. They're fully restored. Great. Awesome. All right. Do you have anything to say? It was a time when we didn't have any technology in this town, but the times they are changing. Did you visit the library already? There are so many books in there, but so little time to read them all. Yeah, sure, let's visit the library. Uh, there's a note on the door. Reading session in progress. Please come back later. Alright, so much for going to the library. Um, let's see what else is going on here in the town. Any hidden items anywhere? Any secrets for me to find? Anyone in this house to talk to? Ooh. Ta-da! Nice. All right, let's see what you have to say. I've been seeding and plowing so long that even my wife thinks my mind is gone. But I'm a man of the land with quite some discipline. Befitting this job, I grow a beard on my chin. 
And if all chores are done and it all is well and fine, Harvest Fest is here and we'll enjoy the party time. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Is this an Al Chess Breach reference? <laughs> His name is Al and he talks about party time? I, I choose to think so. And he's wearing a brown coat, and you can't really see if he has much on, so I'm going to say yes. We spend most of our lives living in this small paradise, and we like it so much that we'll live our, out the rest here. I was expecting you to rhyme too, but uh, so much for that. A lot of books. Dishes. Oven. Free cake. I love free cake. Best kind of cake. Coupons. Now, just a fair warning to anyone watching this. I guarantee I'm going to save all of my coupons for, like, the very last uh, part of this game. All right. What have you got to say? A beasel? Where? I don't know what a beasel is. Let us not disturb this lettuce. This game likes its puns. Huh. Oh. A silk well. I didn't expect to find any here. What was that milestone for, I wonder? Let's do a slam. Pocket sand. Uh, we can just hit him a couple more times. We shouldn't miss enough to make it tricky. Oh, I say that and it immediately misses. Alright, but that one was a crit, so yeah, it's fine. One more hit and we win. Nice. Easy. An experience for Padabit. Nice job. Couple more levels. General level up for you. All right. What we got up here? Phoenix Shard. Is that a revive? Discover 10 unique Coromon. I don't think Silquills are unique, but okay. Pretty sure I've run into Silquills already. That might be a bug. Um, I'll have to see if that's a bug. I wonder if that's a, uh, if that's a bug. Or if there was something weird with that silk well, I should have noticed. Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. See if there was something weird going on there. You should be fine if it just rages once. Go for another attack. And one more will finish him. Nice job. Nice. Easy little fights. Alright. I'm gonna put... Let's put... Um, twiggles in there. Because I do want to take a look back on this route. Way back here real quick. And see if there was a... See if I could find a Mino. Because they were asking for one. I found two people asking for it so far. So, let's take a look around. Just a swarmy. Oh, it's a level six. We are faster, though. Ooh. It's a bit dangerous. Twiggles? Oh. Twiggles, no. Um, Alright, I didn't expect a level 6 to be this dangerous, but here we are. Go for a slam. You'll probably be fine, Doc. Doc, it'll be okay. Don't worry, Doc. Doc, you just need to do two more of those. Oh. Well. Let's, uh, let's get Glonk in there. Glonk will be fine. He's got all the defense in the world. I feel like I should take some time to level my guys up. But 
but I don't know whether to do that on or off screen is the thing. Maybe at some of these early levels I will, while I'm trying to find a uh, a new guy like that. Let's uh, let's switch Doc back in there, and just keep looking around for Mino. Oh, the Nominos were further down, weren't they? I didn't really explore the grass before this. Whoa! Careful, Doc. Uh, Glonk will be fine. I trust in Glonk. Glonk is the savior. He can take in any number of hits. And by any number, I mean... Three more? Two more? But he'll be fine. One more. Uh, actually, it's two more, isn't it? It is faster than Glonk. Perfect. See, Glonk is a true hero. Alright. It's time for a quick heal up. I'll... Yeah, I'll cut to that, and then I'll cut back to us being down in the uh, spot where we might actually find Amino. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright, and we're back. Let's see if I can find Amino or anything else in this shorter grass. There's Amino. Uh, and there was another thing that the other guy was looking for. But it's level 5. I want to see if I can get a lower level 1. Hit one time. I'm getting lucky that that's only hitting one time, I bet. Oh! One more and we've got him. Come on, Doc. It only hit one time. Feels weird. Doc Bugsley awakens some more potential. He's got six points. Alright. What is he good at so far? He's pretty speedy, actually. And his attack is pretty high. Let's do that. And maybe a little more SP. Yeah, that looks good. And he's level 7. Um, his speed and defense went up that time. All right, that answers one question I had, which is, do the bug, the uh, bugs evolve at essentially the same level as they would in another similar game? But they don't. Very good to know. Come on, like a level four, level three Mino. I'll take that. I'll beat up a pad a bit just to get Vlambus leveling up a little bit. And it's level three. Haha, <laughs> bubble. One more of those will take him down. Get slammed for a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Another bubble burst will take him down. Volumus reaches level 8. Very nice. HP, everything goes up a little bit. I have a feeling that leveling SP is going to be big pretty soon. Another pad a bit. A little higher level, but Bulber should still take care of him. Them. Uh, it's going to take three of those this time. Well, three attacks. Ow. Use a chomp to finish it. And let's put, let's try and get Twiggles some more experience again. I know last time we did this, Twiggles got KO'd, but probably fine. And our motto. Go for Claws. These wild armados love to rest, even though they don't need it. But 
But it's like the only enemy I've seen so far that just rests every turn, which is weird. Twiggles levels to level 6. A little bit more of everything. And faster. Always goes first. And potential up. Let's buff your speed and SP. That sounds good. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep Twiggles our fun. Come on, give me a slightly lower level Mino. I don't know why I need one that's lower level. That's just the way my brain works with these games. Level 4. Come on. Level 4. It's level 4, right? Or it's level 5 again. Alright, that's fine. Critical hit means we should be safe to do one more of those. Ooh. Yeah, that's bad if it hits multiple times. Sendo. Uh, Glonk will be able to take those hits. But it's just in case this doesn't work, so... Works. Yeah, sure. Let's check them out. So he's got pretty high HP, attack, speed. He's a little higher level, though, so it's kind of hard to say from that. Uh, and he's fire, which is pretty important, because it means we have a uh, we have a fire Koromon this early. Motivated. Upon defeating an opponent, the Koromon gets motivated and raises attack and special attack. Yikes! So it's a, it's a sweeper. Let's name you... Uh, let's go for something like ta uh, Tar... Terry. Sounds great. Welcome to the team, Terry. Ooh, and you get some potential. Guess where that's going on? You got it. Defense. Uh, I'll put a little more into HP. There we go. Wiggles keeps getting KO'd. I feel kind of bad about that. Some more XP. Any more milestones to claim? Nope. I'm glad I didn't read any of those. Those would be spoilers. Alright. Um. Did you want to see Amino, or did you want to see something else? Tattle. I have not seen a Tattle. Must be a rare spawn. Glonk. Attack. Glonk. Attack again. Glonk destroyer. Of all. Let's keep Glonk out and see if I can find a tattle. Now that I know there's a rare quorum on here, I mean, I gotta find it. It's probably just for here, but you never know. Could be pretty powerful. Another level will get Glonk up. Another fight like this should get Glonk up to level 7. Yes. HP, speed, attack, defense, special attack go up. Nice. Nice. Let's put a batter bit up front. Because he still has to earn his name. Another Silk Will. Good hit. Yeah, you got this. 
Oh. Don't fall for it. Yes, you've got this, buddy. Well, that's not good. <sighs> go for it again. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that was a lot of XP. You awakened some potential. Um, your thing seems to actually be special attack. Maybe that's a faux pas. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to postpone your remaining. Everything for you goes up a little more. You are getting a lot of special attacks, so I think it's going to end up being that as your main stat. But right now, you don't have any special attack moves, so... Um... Actually, I can find out what you're... How did I do that the first time? Is it database? Ah, Beazel is just a level up of a... as an evolution of Sermon. So I don't need to cheat a Mino for that. That seems silly. Buzzlet. Maybe that's the Buzzy, though. Pounder bit, yes. Um, what is... I don't know what that means, but okay. There's a lot of things I have to learn about this game. Which makes sense. It's pretty new. And I've only put, like, less than three hours into it. Um, speaking of which, just as a heads up, <laughs> I uh, accidentally left the game running after last episode. I didn't do anything else, but I just left it on, so it, it does say I have 11 hours of playtime, but that is incorrect. <laughs> Which is just kind of funny, it's like, oh, whoops. Oh well. Another Silkwell down. Some good XP. But still no, uh... Tablet. Tabble? Is that what it was called? Yeah, I think it was Tabble. Must find a secret guy. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe you can't find a Tabble here. Well, easy fight. Easy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Finish him with the chomp. Chomp us. There we go. Come on. Maybe I'll just cut to when I do find a, uh, one of these boys. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, I'll speed it up for you guys, but I'll do a little bit of training and grinding to try and find this, uh, this boy, this table. I'm finding a lot. Oh, that's just another Mino. It's going to be level four or three. Um, if it can last a bubble burst, I'll catch it for a buzzy. Well, that didn't work. But that's good experience for Vlambus. Uh, you're an all-rounder, but buff your special attack, your defense, and your special defense. That sounds good to me. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be back in just a moment. And I'll just kind of speed things up to you until I find this tattle or anything else of interest happens.
I did get a uh, new milestone. So what we got? Stinky scent. I'm guessing that's expendable stinkies. Or stink. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I did just catch another Mino. Um, just to see if there's... Not to see if there's any difference between the two. Actually, because I wanted to... Uh, might as well do that trade just in case I get something different out of it. And you will be named, just so I can remember, Braid. Which feels kind of rude, but... Uh, replace... Uh, let's leave, let's put Twiggles away for now. And another milestone. The team is looking pretty hurt, so uh, I'm gonna back off. Hang on. Do Cormon still gain experience if they fainted? That's interesting. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to check. Is discovering... Discover... Where was it? 20 unique. No? I don't know how that happened then. Um, that's very weird. Let's switch Volambus into position 1, just in case. And let's do this trade, see if we get anything cool out of it, or if it's just going to be a leveled up version of sw uh, Swarmy. Uh, oh, that is... yeah. Sure did. He was trade. Buzzy is in good hands. Awesome. I'm off to try my new Mino in Radiant Park. Perhaps we'll meet again. Um, There's Buzzy. Level 8. Holy cow. He's a stone cold killer. Um, Let's see. HP 26, attack 20, speed 16... Yeah, okay. So, this was unnecessary, but when the coin moves later than its target, it strategically finds weak spots and attacks with double critical hit chance. That's cool. But the team has to be healed up, and I will swap uh, my main guys back in. Which does mean going back to the original town, I think. Let's just take a quick look next door. Um, and see if that is the case. What have you got to say? Helping at the trainer hub is great. I get to see all kinds of Coromon. I love when Nina comes over. I hope she's here for me. Oh, silly Jack. Or Jax. Whatever your name was. A fruit. Fruit. More fruit. I'll pick fruit. And then, what's out here? Oh, it's all the- it's all the Coromon playing. Nice. That's a golden boy. Hmm. These Coromon look ha so happy walking around in the field. I would never dare to put them in spinners. I mean, how would they even fit? Good question. Okay, I want one of those ASAP, because he just looks like an adorable buggy boy. Um, but yeah, I don't want to keep Buzzy in the team. It feels like an unnecessary trade, but sure. Judas, who lives in the eastern part of town, is a great gardener. His fruits are the tastiest. Maybe I should pick up a hobby as well. Ooh, beehive. My pa is a very smart man. He is building something fancy in our basement. Cool. All right, before we do too much there, I am going to double back to swap some of my Coromon out. Uh, I will pause and then start it back up if we see anything new or different or anything exciting happens. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Just a real quick update that uh, Glonk actually did re just reach level 8 while we were on our way back. Just a couple of little stat-ups, and he gets Tactical Slam. Slam the target with moderation, leaving it with at least 1 HP when the target has more than... Ooh. 
Okay, Glonk is now amazing. Glonk is super defense boy and has the equivalent of false false uh, swipe. So Glonk is bestest boy. Um, and this is going to be a tattle? No. Nope. Uh, I'll see you guys back in town. Uh, so on the way back, I accidentally ran back into the trainer we met last time. He said, hello, do you want to see how strong your Mino has become? And it's still named Trade. Uh-oh. <laughs> I seem to have made a tactical error. That's okay. Yeah. Because Tailspin is not that good. That's something I've noticed with me training Terry, is that Tailspin is very unreliable because it has a high chance... It's I've seen it miss quite a bit. Um, and it's... I've seen it do a max of three attacks... Um, I still have to look at the actual move and see how much it can do. But the fact that it's possible it can only hit once for 3 SP is, uh, pretty bad. And that it can miss. Where's Vlambis here? He's gonna take one tailspin and then wipe trade with a bubble burst, so... There goes trade. Good job, Doc. He loves up a good amount. And Venomous Bees. Send an army of Venomous Bees with slow work and poison to poison the target on the next turn. Spark defeated Chuck. I need to train a bit more. And... Is anything going to happen with Swarmy? No. Good to know. Alright. I don't know how many of those in-between cuts I am going to show. Um, but basically, <laughs> if I don't include any of them... Uh, I basically didn't run into anything new. I didn't run across a table. Um, we have leveled up the whole team a little more. Twiggles has leveled up once. Doc, Glonk, Patterbit. They've all done quite a bit. Terry, I did want to look at his stats because... Tailspin. 25 power, 90 accuracy. SP of 3. And Cute Pose lowers defense. That's right. Um, and it looks like physical, 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 special, physical, physical status. So it actually looks like Terry will be a physical attacker, which is good to know. Um, oh, can I, I can, I can do that at any time. That's very good to know. So that plus sign means that I can spend their potential points, uh, Instead of having to wait for them to reach another level potential. But I don't mind putting it off a little longer. Um, but yeah, so at this point, with the team a little bit fixed back up, I'm not going to bother looking for a tablet right now because uh, Glonk got this new move, Tactical, uh, Tactical Shove Slam, which is the slightly stronger, actually, than his Scratch. But means that he can... Um, he leaves him at least one at HP, which is nice. But uh, I did notice a little bit back, there is a person over here with an exclamation mark over their head. Baron is trapped. Curso is Beazle. All right, so actually, I need to uh, defeat that Beazle, don't I? Let's do it. Bzz. Let's see what we got. All right. Level 8. Ooh. Careful team, this is going to be a tricky one. Alright, well, <laughs> Derry, time to run. Um, Glonk can take those hits. He's the same level and he's got high defense, immunity to crits, and he doesn't do bad damage. Yeah, and if you go for a tactical slam, oh, venomous bees, ow. Very effective. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to be poisoned next turn. That's an issue. Quickly, Blambus, you must help. Get out of there, Glonk. All right. You got this, Blambus. And go for a bubble burst. It is faster, which might hurt. 
Ah, it's not that bad. Come on, bubble burst. Oh, you got to be kidding me. But his speed is down. We should be able to survive one more of anything. Yep, yeah, we're faster now. Perfect. Takes down that Beazle. Lambus gets a little more XP. Terry goes to level 7. Good job. A little more stat stuff for him. Glonkrin some XP. Well deserved. Woo, thanks for that. I thought what I was gonna. I was just working on this here fence and then suddenly that Beazle snuck up on me. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. I'm glad I could help. Since you were working on that fence, are you by any chance the blacksmith Perrin? The one and only. There's no better blacksmith around. But who's asking? My name is Sprocket. I was sent by Rigel, or Rigel, to find you. Ah, to have an essence collector installed, I presume. Alright, let's get to it then. Come, let's get to me workshop. Here we are. Welcome to your workshop, Sprocket. Wow, from the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. I sure I am. I've been making spinners almost day and night for the last few weeks. I'm one of the few people working for Lux Solus that are skilled enough to make spinners. So why, I've been working hard, but I can help you with your gauntlet. I'm quite familiar with Lux Solus technology, so it shouldn't take long to install a lot of jewel. Thanks. Here's my gauntlet, and here's a module. Thank you. And here, meanwhile, you can use the spare gauntlet. Hey! Thanks. Alright, I'll better get to it then. Oi, while I work on your gauntlet, why don't you visit the library? You can pick up some handy handbooks there, which will surely help you on your adventure. You can ask me little brother. He's a real bookworm, that failure, so he'll know where to find them books. Come back once you read them all. I'm sure you'll be done then. That sounds helpful. I'll go check the library. Alright, and I better get started then. And I'll take your things. Ooh, a free spinner. Neat. Don't get to interact with that one, unfortunately. Maybe this one? Can I take this one? Can I steal things from Perrin? Please? Please? I want to steal Perrin's things. Can I go in this door? It's his bedroom. I'm sure he won't mind at all. Karen, my sister, I found out it was you who filed the complaint about my spinners having a fatal flaw. Well, this is probably Perrin's journal. I know we've had our distances since childhood, but I'd like to take this through it. It seems the rest of the letter is scratched off. So we have something curious going on about the spinners. A fatal flaw. But I found a fruit in his house, so it's fine. More fruit. Let's check out back real quick. See if there's anything neat going on. Ooh, a free axe. Whoops. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> the game sounded like it was dying for a second there. A fake fruit. All right. Now that Perrin has stolen our cool gauntlet and replaced it with this blue one. <laughs> blue. <laughs> oh. Um, that's probably where I'm going to leave off for now. We've just got to go over to the library now, and then get our gauntlet back from Perrin, and we can continue our journey. And then maybe find a tavern. In fact, maybe that's what I'll start with next time. Next time I'm going to do a little bit of running around and see if I can't find a tavern. And we'll, we'll, start the, uh, we'll start the episode off there. Um, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Remember to be nice to other people and to be awesome out there, and I will see you in the next one.